Yo, what up, what up? It's the kid, CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So we back with another sneaker review. Today, we are going to be talking about, in my eyes, a controversial shoe, man. This is going to be the New York Nick Nike Up Temples. It is controversy, I'll get into that in a second. Before we do this, man, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, hit that bell, turn on those notifications so you guys can get an email alert every single time I upload brand new sneaker content. Now, like I said, the reason why I'm calling these sneakers controversial is because I just feel like, man, this is kind of like a slap in the face. This is kind of like a taunt or mockery if you ask me, man. Scotty Pippen is bringing out a Knicks colorway. Scotty Pippen never played on the Knicks, man. You know, um, he basically is saying, I don't know, man, these are just rumors. We got, somebody gotta get Scotty Pippen on the horn, man. Scotty Pippen has to clear this up, bro. First of all, you know, you see this, this is a Knicks colorway, man. It has that 33 on the back, so some people are thinking that this is just to kind of pay homage to Patrick Ewing because it has 33 in the back, but no, Scotty Pippen's number was 33. We all know this sneaker was infamous with Scotty Pippen. He, he decided to make a Knicks colorway, bro, and um, they're saying that he's doing it to honor the rivalry between the two, you know? Um, Honestly, bro, the way Scotty Pippen ducked on uh, uh on, on my man uh Patrick Ewing. Fires cross court. Scotty, oh, 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 and he went right over the top of him. The way that the the Bulls had a rivalry with the Knicks, dog, you don't need to be making no tribute to me if I was on that team. I didn't like you, man. You got success. You got your own sneaker, and then you gonna have the audacity to put one out in my team's colorway, knowing we didn't like you. I don't see the inspiration behind it, man. I just think this is, you know, a, a reminder of what they used to do to me if I was to see this sneaker. Seeing this 33 on the back is a reminder, if I'm Patrick Ewing, on how Scottie Pippen dunked on me, put his nuts in my mouth, man. Pause. But that's what I'm saying, dog. So. I don't understand it, man. Scottie Pippen gotta explain what he was thinking about, quote unquote, making a tribute to the Knicks, you know, to honor the rivalry or something like that. I honestly don't get it. Hey, guess what? If you're a fan of the Knicks, you finally get a Nick colorway. But if you're a fan of the Knicks, you probably hate the Bulls and you probably don't like Scottie Pippen and you ain't gonna support his sneaker anyway. So it's kind of like a lose lose. I don't really know, man. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Why a Knicks colorway? Why a tribute? Why the 33 in the back? We don't usually ever get the 33 on the back of these up temples, man, but that's just me. Do you guys think this is inspiration, homage, honor, or do you think it's a mockery, spit in the face, a taunt, you know, whatever the case is, but nonetheless, let's talk about this sticker, okay? So we do have um, a Nike up temple right here. We have our air that comes in blue, and then we have just our orange, you know, hits everywhere along the sneaker. Nothing too crazy. If you've seen one up temple, you've seen them all, but I will give you an up close so you guys could, you know, get a good look at this brand new colorway right here. So bam, majority all white sneaker, like I said, and then we have the air on the side coming in your Knicks blue right there. We also have a little Nike check right there at the bottom that's gonna come in orange. You guys can see we have our air units in orange right there as well. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the front of the sneaker. We have our blue Nike check right there on the toe cap, as you guys can see. And then we just have an all white tongue right there. And then, um, yeah, man, we got our, our, our orange check right there. And then on the back, like I said, we have our 33. You know, so, you know, that's Scotty Pippen. Some people are getting that confused with Patrick Ewing, but no, that's Scotty Pippen right there. That comes in orange as well. And then, like I said, yeah, man, we have our air unit that comes in orange and then the bottom of the sneaker, that's going to give you an orange check right there, orange Nike swoosh, and then just a little bit more of that blue on the bottom there, guys. So, uh, yeah, man, just a quick little uh, look at this sneaker. Tell me what you guys think. If you're a fan of the up tempos, then you'll definitely be feeling this colorway, man, because this is a pretty dope colorway, man. I think the most successful one so far was the white and the black, and then a, a lot of people were feeling the uh, the Bulls colorway. So this might take the cake for third place, man. It is a dope colorway, man. I will give it that, but 
the story behind it, man, it's just kind of shaky to me, man. If I was Patrick Ewing, if I was John Starks, and I, I was, you know, a part of that Knicks team, I wouldn't be really feeling this, man. What kind of tribute are you talking about, man? We didn't like each other, bro. But anyway, that's the sneaker, guys. Uh, drop those comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of these sneakers. Give you one more look at the flip side before we get up out of here. And uh, yeah, man, that's basically it, man. We got our, our up tempos. So yeah, that pretty much wraps things up here on CJ City TV. Like I said, drop those comments down below. Let me know what you guys are feeling about this brand new colorway. Also, make sure you guys tune in every Sunday, 1 p.m. I got brand new sneaker content. I'm appreciating all the love that you guys have been showing me, so I'm going to keep these, these sneaker reviews coming. Um, yeah, man, so until next time, I'm signing out. I appreciate all the love. Peace.